Hello Pisces and welcome to your reading by the Blessings Foundry. Today's reading is a general reading for the Pisces Collective. The more highly you have Pisces in your birth chart, the more this reading may resonate with you. Spirit, please connect with the Pisces viewers and subscribers of this channel, their guides, guardians, angels, ancestors, and higher self in high vibrational energy to get the messages and guidance Pisces needs for their soul's journey at the time they watch this video. Let's see what messages we get for you today, Pisces. Spirit, what messages do you have for Pisces when they watch this video? Okay, so we have the Knight of Cups, some type of romantic offer, message, or proposal, or even some type of emotional change. You may feel a little bit on guard or your defenses may be triggered. You might be in a protective posture. Spirit, what other messages do you have for Pisces, please? What other messages do you have for Pisces, please, Spirit? What other messages? Thank you. Then we have the Page of Cups. So a message of affection, a message of emotion. This is also auditioning, putting yourself out there for your skills and talents to be judged. What other messages do you have for Pisces, please? Then we have the King of Swords. The King of Swords is masculine air energy, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Also a card of leadership, somebody with higher education in a professional position. What a, then we have the Three of Pentacles coming together to work as a team, teamwork, using your creativity and skills to build something. What other messages do you have for Pisces, please, Spirit? What other messages do you have for Pisces, please? Thank you. And then we have the Ace of Wands. So ultimately going towards this new beginning, maybe a new job, a new creative venture, something that's new that you're feeling very passionate about. Spirit, please come here and clarify this message. So I had a question about the clarification. And for those of you um, who don't understand the clarification or whatever, how I basically do it is like, if you're reading a, a metaphor or a simile to this is basically like, if you're familiar with writing or reading um, articles, etc., each, um, the sentence structure, the paragraph structure, each sentence or each paragraph has like a leading sentence. And each of these cards in the initial layout is basically like that leading sentence, right? And then the clarification cards is like the body of the paragraph. So that's how I kind of view it, just to help you guys have a little understanding if you ever wondered. Let's go in. Okay, Spirit, what is this Knight of Cups for Pisces? What do you want Pisces to know about this Knight of Cups? What is this Knight of Cups for Pisces, please, Spirit? Okay, we have the Three of Cups. What else does Pisces need to know about this Knight of Cups? Okay. So we have the Knight of Cups, the Six of Swords, and the Hierophant. So the Hierophant is the card of Taurus, but here what we're seeing is some type of romantic offer, proposal, or gesture. Um, it doesn't have to be romantic. It could be something that is emotionally, some type of emotional change. But here we ultimately see the Three of Cups. So this can be a reunion or something that brings you joy and helps you to move forward, perhaps to a commitment or a more stable and grounded place. So we see this emotional change, whether it's a proposal, an offer, or just something that's changing independently within yourself, Pisces, where your the change that's occurring is you're ushering in more joy and happiness and you're transitioning as a result to a more solid and stable place in your journey. What is the Seven of Wands, please? What do you want Pisces to know about the Seven of Wands? And we get the hangman. What else do you want Pisces to know about the seven of wands, please, spirit? What else do you want Pisces to know about the seven? Thank you. And then we get the chariot. So you've definitely been standing your ground and, you know, protecting yourself, guarding yourself, um, having the courage to, you know, let, release what no longer serves you and move towards, you know, your, your soul's journey to have victory some of you have definitely had a change in perspective as a result of what you've gone through and that's what's really catalyzing this emotional change within you and enabling you to move forward to a more grounded more secure more stable place so here we see both the letting go and you know we we do have to comment on the sacrifice that has gone before that you have sacrificed much 
and you have come to terms with that and then also accepted and now as a result of that you have a different perspective on your experience which is enabling you to move forward in your strength and in your power and having that tenacity and that courage to stand your ground what is this page of cups for pisces what do you want pisces let me turn this just a wee bit what do you want pisces to know about this page of cups please what do you want pisces to know about this page of cups spirit And when I say spirit, I refer to those that I call them, the guides, guardians, angels, ancestors, and higher self and high vibrational energy. What is this page of cups, please? We have the five of wands. What else do we need to know about this page of cups? And we have the nine of pentacles. So this page of cups could very well, it being an emotional message, could be an apology or a offer to ease over any type of disruption or chaos you may have experienced because somebody is viewing you definitely as this pre-empress is very independent self-reliant and abundant and that may have triggered something within themselves and i i'm feeling as though they didn't mean for um themselves to be triggered but it just kind of was a knee-jerk reaction and now they'd like to extend a cup of um, emotion or, you know, really, I'm also getting that they want to have you in their cup, Pisces. Here we see the fish in this person's cup. Now the page of cups is somebody who could be younger than you or could have acted immaturely, emotionally, but which could have very well caused this conflict with you. So we're seeing wanting to extend some type of offering or an apology. What is this king of swords for Pisces, please, Spirit? What do you want Pisces to know about this King of Swords? And we have the Six of Cups. So the King of Swords could very well be somebody you feel you have a soul connection with. It could be somebody from the past, again, um, that wants to extend some type of maybe peace offering. But here, let me get some more, okay? Spirit, what else do you want Pisces to know about this King of Swords? What else do you want Pisces to know about this King of Swords, please? Then we have the Strength. So... This person definitely ha feels a strong sense of connection with you. Um, maybe in the past they didn't show that. Maybe they were triggered and showed the opposite to you and it resulted in some type of conflict and strife. However, we're seeing that there's going to be a conquering over the past situation. Um, if this is not relative to another person for you, Pisces, this is definitely you overcoming the past and having that discernment and courage to, you know, cut away what is in the way of your progress and your new beginning. If this does relate to somebody else, a relationship or a connection, this is definitely a soul connection with the Six of Cups here. And it's a very strong soul connection as well. And both of you probably feel it um, very strongly. What is this Three of Pentacles for Pisces? What do you want Pisces to know about this Three of Pentacles, please? For this Three of Pentacles, Pisces, we are getting the Judgment card, which does speak to a past life connection. It also is making a decision, awakening, and um, making a choice. Then we have the Hermit. So the Judgment card and the Hermit, this is really awakening to the knowledge of what has happened and really learning from the experience of the past and now wanting to come together to work things out. Let me go ahead and get one more card for this Three of Pentacles spirit. One more card for this Three of Pentacles for Pisces. One more card for this Three of Pentacles for Pisces, please, spirit. This can also be awakening to your creative calling, Pisces, whether it's spiritual gifts or mentorship or teaching or using your wisdom in some way to shape and help build other people up for some of you that might be it what anything else for this three of pentacles spirit anything else for this three of pentacles okay and then what we have here in addition to the judgment card and hermit is we're getting the knight of cups again along with the six of wands so this is really showing that somebody has you on their mind and they want to come forward with some type of offer and like reward you or compensate you or show you affection. Somebody wants to bring their big cup of love to you because you are the one that they admire and they adore. Um, that's for some of you. For others of you, 
as a result of you moving forward with your creative gifts and your spiritual gifts and abilities, you know, applying the lessons learned and applying the insight that you have awoken to, this is new opportunities are going to come to you that are going to elevate you and lift you up and, and bring reward into your life. Spirit, what is this Ace of Wands for Pisces? And we see that this is like the evolution of your transition into, you know, success and recognition and coming into this new beginning. What is this Ace of Wands for Pisces? What is this? We have the Seven of Swords coming out. What is this Ace of Wands for Pisces, please, Spirit? What do you want Pisces to know about the Seven or the Ace of Wands? What do you want Pisces to know about this Ace of Wands, please? Knight of Swords. What else do you want Pisces to know about this Ace of Wands? And then we have the Three of Wands. So I'm really picking up that this Three of Wands is you moving forward towards this new beginning where you're going to have growth and expansion. And you have your back turned on the Seven of Swords and the Knight of Swords, which is really that lesson and that experience that you have gone through that has given you a higher awareness where you have faced betrayal, you have faced lies, you have faced underhanded situations, you have faced harsh truths and harsh realities. And as a result, you have definitely turned your back to certain situations and certain energies and you no longer allow certain things in your life, whether it's people, energies, or your own behaviors because you're headed towards something greater and bigger and more meaningful in your life spirit one card for the overall message of this reading for pisces please one card for the overall message of this reading for pisces please spirit one card for the overall message of this reading for pisces please spirit and we get sacrificed just as we were saying about here with the herm or the hangman card you know you have sacrificed much let's let's not even pretend that you haven't you have sacrificed your time your resources your emotions you have literally in some cases sacrificed yourself and you will know how that hits home specifically for a couple of you but you have you have given much and in many cases received little so here we see a dynamic shift in your emotional space where you're focused now on moving forward to what brings you joy and what's going to bring you stability and security and something very grounded. You have gone through a period where you've you've had struggle and you've need, and you've sacrificed and now you re recognize it's time to release and let go of that and, and move forward in your strength with tenacity and courage standing your own ground, understanding that people may be coming to you with offers of apology and wanting to, you know, reconnect with you or, you know, in some cases wanting to put you in their cup and say, you know, Pisces is mine. Even though previously your beauty, your independence, your self-sufficiency may have been very triggering for them and may have caused arguments with them. But then we see that we have a person or for there's two scenarios here i'm reading either this is you standing in your power in your discernment and in your own authority and overcoming these past situations which we see here alternately this could definitely be a person represented in your life who you have a very extremely strong soul connection with then we see moving forward to really transform the experiences of the past, shining that light on um, the information and the experiences that you have awoken to so you can finally move towards this emotional change and transition for yourself very successfully to reap rewards, putting the past behind you, whether it's deceit, harshness, you know, very abrupt aggressive energy putting that behind you and really staying focused on moving towards your new beginning this is the message i have for you today pisces i hope it helps god bless